Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rise of the Robots campaign. A game where we're trying to beat legendary Iron Man with just sparks, a couple of psyops and a few Templars. And that's it, pretty much. And it is big time fun. I absolutely adore these sparks. They are just so much fun to play. I highly recommend that you get one or two in your next playthrough as well. I definitely changed my perspective on them um, i really have more appreciation for what they're doing cool anyways today we're going to go into the black side data coordinates mission uh, that will uh, basically lead us towards the advent forge that's where we uh, are going to steal the suit and as you can already see there are a couple of heavy uh, mechanical enemies so we better bring uh, some blue screen rounds with us do we have enough blue screen rounds? I'm wondering. I would say we're just going to take more. And everything else is uh, pretty much fine. We got uh, really solid heavy weapons. We got shredding. We got two psi operatives. We got Magister that, uh, who is going to help us. So the team itself looks absolutely fantastic. I've also made the decision that I'm not just going to optimize everything. We're just playing through the game and try to go for the last mission whenever we're ready. That keeps the uh, campaign short and sweet and maybe we're not having optimal equipment. So it might be a bit of an extra challenge uh, for the final mission. Here we go. Guess who just landed? Damn right, it is us. So this here is a fantastic mission because the Forge, uh, just like many storyline missions, is non-timed. We have all of the time in the world to get uh, something done. And that means we want to play good, coordinated, kind of moderate-paced XCOM. That's what Saiken is saying before running in and pulling all of the packs at the same time. Good. Taking, by the way, we already started at high ground. The game certainly appreciates my admiration for high ground and now has decided to okay. simply put me on high ground every single time. That's really nice. I appreciate it. Full overwatch and we haven't heard or seen any enemies yet. The sector pod shakes the ground and normally this mission here is the mission that introduces the sector pod we're a little bit late with the party just because normally yeah you're doing it much much earlier what 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 what, what did we see Something was triggering over there, but we cannot see anything. Is that an alien ruler? Oh, it was a tower. Okay, right, never mind. Agreed. Good. Renman moves up. And quick feed. Let's move him over here. So we can ignore the tower for now, although, of course, killing it would allow us agency over this high, high ground uh, over here. That's fantastic. I don't want to ruin concealment just for a tower. That's not worth it. That, on the other hand, might be more like it. Hmm. Okay, let's engage and get that patrol. And once we're done, 
I would love to get the tower. Aggressively changing sides. As you direct. And Renvin moves over here. Moving out. Good, it's just a patrol of two. Probably will try to pull with Hawkbite, but then again realizing that they might already be dead. Did I mention that Hunter's instinct itself is great? It's, dead. It has to be dead. it's even better if you have a full Overwatch trap. <laughs> okay, well, that was uh, an interesting start, shall we say. Taking the high ground here. That gives us a lot of agency, also a nice little high ground bonus. Hector moves up. I don't want to give him the kill, he's already max level. So might as well use Dagger here to... to kill the tower. There we go. Well, so much for that. Good. Magister picks up the remaining focus. And let's move over to the other side. We simply had changed the sides so that we can ambush. Which we successfully did. Affirmative, moving out. I'm on it, Overwatch. And who's the chosen that we're going to fight? The Warlock. Stand proud. Good. He got a new ability, Shadow Step, so no reaction shots. That's fine. Watchful, can enter Overwatch upon ending the turn, um, is immune to explosions, and you will gain health whenever someone else is taking damage, that's okay. But it's easy to take a from, uh, target from high ground, which our mechs are pretty much perfect opposition for him. You fall to the Elder's greatest warrior. And we can also shred him quite well, so that's great. We just picked up a unique signature. We will, however, take thing is only going to make a lot of uh, zombies it. down first, so I'm very much expecting that for the foreseeable um, future we're going to kill a lot of zombies. Spectral zombies, to be precise. On the move. Good. All Three of you guys can move up there. On the move. And the rest simply moves over here. On Overwatch. Sensors at maximum range. Scanning for targets. Maintaining this area. Good. We're going to take the first uh, uh, brunt of probably three or even four Spectra Zombies. Yeah, what a surprise, right? The good part is we should with Blade Storm be able to eliminate most of them. You dare 
Death of these subordinates will prevent nothing. Very nice. So far that worked out just beautiful. Oh wow, frame rate drop. Sorry for that guys. Come on, just a little bit closer. Are you kidding me? You will make a fitting sacrifice for the elders. All right, moving up, that might trigger an enemy. It did not. That's affirmative. Moving over. Let's kill the Spectre Zombie. Target down. My power cannot be compared to these lower forms of life. Good. We're oh yeah. We're not triggering anything. We're taking uh, the high ground over there next. Until then, let's build up a nice little fire line like we're uh, like we're always uh, doing it. Running. Moving up. Good. We got plenty of overwatch if another patrol runs into us that should not be a problem And it is uh, two more rounds until new zombies will appear Good that worked out well Good Spreading out with our fire line Renman moves into full cover, and I think Quick Feet over here can simply move into half cover. Good, we got five overwatch shots, more than enough. Like I said, I want to uh, use that fire line, and if there is any patrol left, which there is, they are likely to move into us. Very nice, that was a great hit. I am nearly upon you. Okay, fair enough. So how about a nice shred storm cannon? Movement engaged. Moving up, yes, please. Yep, it's the right idea, but we're not hitting both of them. Okay, cool. You know, since it's not a timed mission. We can use a cooldown. Move over here. Targeting sensors locked on advent forces. Interesting. We just found the last patrol. And I was about to say um, we can easily use over uh, overdrive. Should be too much of an issue. So that was a hit, an explosion on top of it, which just took all of uh, that nasty cover away. Could move in, but that would trigger the Chosen, which I, matter of fact, don't really want to do. If you say so.
Good. Shield bearer is down. So, how about we're over to here? To and how about we're overdriving? And how about we're starting to just kill that Archon? That would be fantastic. Because the purifier back here, I really don't think that. He will be much of a threat for us. Could move all the way up to here. So we could go again all the way over here. But I'm not sure if we're triggering another pack and just making it worse. Hmm. Okay, not an easy decision. Let's just see. We could... I hate undying dying loyalty. I would want to go to here and just finish uh, this guy, but instead I cannot do that, and I really don't want to use any more cooldowns or like so I see it's probably not going to give us a lot of options no it's not gotta use overdrive I hate doing that but every other alternative unfortunately would have either put us at risk or could have pulled another pack which again we don't want to do Let's get this size zombie down. Care of. Magister moves up. We're going to Overwatch. It's still one more round until the size zombies are happening. Very good. It's a pretty tight timeline now. You gotta hate the spectral zombies. And they are quite uh, quite fast. I still remember my um, one run that I called OMFG, where essentially it was a better strike run with ballistic weapons only and, and a four-man squad size. And I particularly remember one encounter where I faced uh, the uh, Warlock for the first time. It was just painful. Every single round he was summoning zombies. I just couldn't do anything about it. 
The moment that I tried to uh, stop him, uh, he summoned more and more zombies, so I needed to take high ground. I, I very much remember the tactic. I needed to take high ground just so that I can have a breezer. And eventually, the enemies started being stuck, like the zombies couldn't uh, progress any further. And that was really the only thing that I could do in order to harm them. Once, once we engaged the warlock, he of course did not summon anymore, so that was fine. But until that very point, it absolutely sucked. Alright, we're going to parry, and over here, we're going to go. Moving to Overwatch, level. and we're good. We fight for the glory of the elders. Very nice. So, Purifier, and I think we still got one more, yeah, we still got one more zombie. Are you ready to be redeemed? Not sure if this guy, if the zombie... I guess that'll be okay is having the spectral rupture active I got it right the loss of these subordinates is as meaningless to me as it is to you Not sure if the guy has spectral rupture on it. On the move. Better be safe than sorry. Good. We're still afterwards needing to wait a few rounds until the cooldowns are back up. Good, I'm generally spreading out. Yeah, let's just use Vault. Did not have Spectral Rupture up, but rest assured I've also seen graphical bugs where Spectral Rupture was very much up and the game just was recognizing it. So again, better be safe than sorry. One more turn and our overdrive is ready. No, two more turns. Doesn't matter. We can relatively quickly play them. So, creation of a fire line. Good. So we got a pretty solid reload. Everybody is back. One more round and we should be good. I think the Spectre Zombies will uh, join us next round.
Unfortunately, these guys do not even yield XP. So there is no point in farming them, for instance. Start. My expectations for them were exceedingly low. Check it before you get too close. Perfect, that's two down. Moving out. And three down. At the same time, our front line will be on Overwatch. Good. And next turn, we got Overdrive, so we can engage the Chosen plus the Sector Pod. I don't think that the Sector Pod will be keen to engage uh, us uh, solitarily, so they will come as a pack. Well, guess who's who's there? A sector coach. Top, 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 top. Clumsy as always. Overdriving, let's go. That's three armor gone. And that's six armor gone. Let us take better positions. Blue screen rounds. Nice little hit. 13. That's fantastic. continues holy shit another 13 to 15 gotta love blue screen rounds they are just so fantastic and dagger is the one who can effectively level up he is going to kill the sector pod Very good. It comes at no surprise that he starts engaging us. It is nearly time for atonement. Too much of the Elder's time has been wasted already. Their plans slowed by your clumsy interference. There will be no captives taken today, Commander. All those you send, you send to their deaths. We've got the Chosen in our sights. It's time to take and them And he just moved in. Didn't even do anything. Let's make sure that we're definitely going to remove his cover. Uh, Bombard will take care of that. It's probably not going to deal damage because he was immune to, uh, to that. All 
right, overdriving. If we can't get him out of cover, it'll need to do with cover. So... There we go. Down to two armor. And he's naked. Not exactly what I was hoping to get out of it, but okay. I guess that'll be okay. Moving into full cover. Nah, I can't really do that. Nice, that's 10 points of damage. Probably not going to void rift him. Eh, that's fine, we can handle those. Problem is, uh, the Chosen will not trigger Bladestorm because he does have Lightning Reflexes. That's a bit unfortunate. We're putting a Mimic Beacon out here just in case. I don't want any shenanigans to happen. We're nonetheless going to parry. The Chosen might decide to just take his chances and hunter triggers yet again such a great ability Chosen nicely is going to heal up yet again. You will make a fitting sacrifice for the elders. Right. Well, let me conclude that is a pretty large enemy force. And for me, it seems we got a Kind of clean up the ranks a bit here. Good, we're being action efficient. Reload if all we want to do is blow all of this here up. We sure can, but we can do it in a reloaded fashion. Interesting. Chosen took damage, although he's immune to explosions. Apparently, uh, the um, blast was overwriting that for whatever reason. Hmm. 
Let me think about uh, that. So, I'd like to kill both of these guys. We can do that with a shredder gun. Kill the purifier. No life signs detected. That is unfortunate. We got undying loyalty yet again. Affirmative. I wanted to save a few explosives, but unfortunately, it seems we gotta use. Even some more uh, cooldowns, but on the other hand, that's fine because uh, there's only one more pack left after that, and we pretty much triggered the entire map and got a chosen on top, so I think it's okay. Good, so that. is killing most of these guys wonderful good time to deal with a specter. Right on the margins. And unfortunately I dodged what we were trying to do. So we gotta reposition ourselves. Still want to deal with that specter. If you say so. There we go, Spectre down. Good, very nice. It's probably going to be Spectral Army, if just how I know him. He probably wants to just create spectral army. Are you kidding me? Crit. All right, that has a distinct advantage because they will most likely run through the blade storm, and that again will help us to just get some extra hits off. Four. Wow, that's excessive. Yep, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they will not run through anything. Maybe they're just taking cover. Let us see the grand strategies of XCOM's fabled commander. On the move. Good, so that's one of them down. Good, we can theoretically get both of them, that's fantastic. That'll get rid of uh, their cover. 
and also will deal some solid damage for both of them. Perfect, that's another one down. another one down should have probably moved on top of the roof very good Bladestorm will kill him and that will also deny the Chosen an action because if he at the beginning of his turn is still stuck in Spectral Army, he's not going to take an extra turn. So we essentially crowd controlled him with that thanks to Bladestorm. Ta-da! There you go. Easy. can hit him from high ground, we already know that, it's his weakness. And guess who can climb very, very effectively onto the high ground? Exactly, damn right, it's the Sparks. Dagger here could use a promotion. And we could use some extra ability points. There we go, plus five. Perfect, chosen down, sector port down. Almost everyone is down. Good, very good. My watch begins. Scanning. There's one more pack, I'm pretty sure, and uh, then we could simply be out of here. Good. Let's build up a fire line. Proceeding to target. over there advancing quick feet moves into full cover proceeding to target sensors at maximum range got it covered good very good excellent the last peg usually is simply within the last room it doesn't really move much sometimes they do but Normally they just stay uh, stay in here and I've also noticed the last pack is over proportionally often mutants of some uh, sort Movement request confirmed On the move Already there My bad that was a misclick all right, so okay, Sort of a fire line, not the nicest one that you've ever seen, but still good. And you can see uh, the pack is in here. It's not al always mutants, sometimes it's also vipers. And this time they went around here. Interesting. Okay, cool. So if that's the case, then how about Order's this here? Moving out. And this. Just a moment. And this. Moving. And very much this. Scanning approach vector. I'm trusting. 
trusting you here. On overwatch. All right. On my way. Again, moving a bit closer. Servos engaged. I'm on my way. I will comply. If you say so. Good, we're moving up and next up. Oh, they moved on top of the roof. Interesting. So they are probably right there at the moment. Moving as ordered. Good, we're moving in. What comes up must come down is an old saying. And that certainly holds true for these guys. This is Avenger. Package is in range. That certainly holds true for them. So once they are coming down, they'll be up for a nasty surprise. Headed there now. The only problem that I do have with that whole positioning there is the stairs are not really a great place for an overwatch. Did I just break the turn again? God damn it. So pretty sure they are right up here. Movement request confirmed. Yep. They are Sure as hell up there. Moving. Closing on target position now. Good. Moving right behind the stairs, so in case they come down, all of them will get nicely massacred by Bladestorm. On the move. Yeah, sounds very much like they would be up there. What's over there? Moving to position. Sensors at my one core below the vigilant. Good. Let's come down, guys. Well, maybe this will change your opinion. Very good. So we got the original suit and we got an extraction zone. Just keep an eye on him. Okay, I'll go. So if this is uh, the zone where they are going to drop out. Moving on target location. Then we are advancing. going to advance as far as possible. Affirmative. No one will slip past. Overwatch protocol. Affirmative. Covering now. Priority Engaging one. Overwatch. Good. Let's see. Probably a mech and two uh, soldiers. If I was to take a guess, yep, who would have guessed? That's a normal drop. Advent position confirmed. Recalibrate. 
Very nice. Oh, that's 10 points of damage. And now we're stuck in a loop of slow mo. Great. What might have happened is we might have killed the guy and undying loyalty or something has triggered. Oh boy. He is now at the window, finally. Very carefully trying to take cover. Well, today XCOM doesn't show its um, best side. It very much uh, shows a lot of its bugs. Okay, gotta fix that, guys. Uh, be right back. All right, and we're back. As you can see, it looks a bit different than uh, before, which is due to the fact that the game actually fully crashed. I needed to start back from here, read it all of it this time. However, I managed to engage the last pack before they went off somewhere. And we're now restarting when we're basically opening the stasis tube. Yeah, very much not how I was expecting. Acquisition of the package. Move to evac. No problem. All right. I'm all over it. Let's do what we came. Uh, let's do what we came here for, which is servos at maximum. Run over and High evac. Speed advance. It would be. Very, very, very tempting to just sit someone here and let him kill all of them. Location confirmed. Yeah, but I don't think that that's the right play. Maximum thrust confirmed. I don't know. Maybe it is. As you direct. The problem is we can't evac everybody next turn, which kind of makes it almost mandatory that we're at least weakening the reinforcements with three bonus attacks. Uh, that <coughs> having him there is the most effective way of dealing with them. Well, two bonus attacks. Uh, this mech here will automatically go into Overwatch. Good, another advantages this time. I had way less problems, hence we also used less. Uh, we also less uh, use less resources, which in return means that we can use them right now. And specifically the blaster is just fantastic. <sighs> I 
Undying Loyalty, on the other hand, is absolutely not fantastic. <laughs> Undying Loyalty times two. Wonderful. Alright, Quick Feet moves over here. And we're taking Primus. Why do we see the mech over here, but not if we're just at the edge? That doesn't make any sense. That works. Yep, that no works. Will shield you. There we go. Packing it in. Reinforcements done. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. And we have plenty of time to get everybody to the evac zone. That's one, and two, and three. And four, and five. Barely not making it out of here. But since reinforcements are not imminent, we can just wait until reinforcements are coming and now evac up. <coughs> wow, what a, what a long mission. Like I said, I didn't want to farm reinforcements. The only reason why we put Hogbite there in the first place is to make sure that no one was left behind. If you say so. Good. Ready to boogie. And here we go. I think it's even a flawless mission. Let's get clear of the area. Yeah. Well. Decent uh, mission overall. That uh, went well. And guess who's back? We just the landed. Be chosen can be killed. Well, Two promotions. Uh, Holy moly. Perfect. So we got Nova or Sacrifice. Uh, sacrifice we haven't really used much. Nova on the other hand can uh, be, be used. So our offensive sparks both will go with a Nova. And that also means all of our sparks are champions, so pretty much highest level. Uh, Magister just needs a bit more to also reach that the level. Confines of the suit we recovered, we have found what could very well be the prototype for Ad. New objective added. I've updated our Perfect. latest operational objectives, Commander. So, we got plenty of room now with the Avatar project as well. The discovery of this subject encased in a suit similar to your own is intriguing, Commander. The loss of their facility and this specimen could be an even greater victory than we had imagined. Commander, remote reconnaissance indicates the aliens have a UFO hunting for our position. We need to be careful about where we pick our flight paths. Are you me? Oh, boy. I don't want another UFO defense mission, so let's make sure that Bradford is staying far, far away. Commander, 
The aliens are still moving forward on the Avatar project. Taking out that... New objective added. It looks like Good. We now need to... For us, Commander. In the field. The Codex appears as an anomalous yeah, form in an, an almost to, constant state of flux, uh, get seemingly only avatar. present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However, it was apparently not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry. Having New objective added. Perfect. Commander, That's our next mission. Our We're probably going to do that more or less soon. So we just got the infirmary done, which is fantastic. Ready to move on the coordinates we pulled from the codex. We don't have a lot of heartbeat with either of these guys having a negative trait. They are rookies and most of these others are fine as well. On the on the upside, there is really no, no, uh, no downside, so to speak, to remove uh, the negative traits from the rookies. What I would want to see, though, is can we? Oh boy, we cannot resume the training. I mentioned that I'm not going to be too fast about it. It's unfortunate really unfortunate because i would have wanted to let roby continue the training is there anything that we can do in order to maybe speed up like things the fact that we're chasing another set of coordinates into the middle of nowhere we've done it before and we didn't like what we found yeah we could we theoretically get rid of uh, the not. laboratory the that'll reduce our research scroll. speed i don't want to do that GTS, we still need Just that. We had more to go on. Don't need any of uh, those. We already got everything that we need from the GTS. But decommissioning it would get rid of uh, the squad side pony. So we don't want to do that either. And not even the training center should be decommissioned. So if anything, we're, uh, we could aim for the laboratory. But realistically speaking, if we are going for another Psy lab, that'll take another 20-ish days. And really what we want to do at this point is do the remaining missions and just press forward with the storyline. We got maxed out uh, mm, sparks and I want to continue using them. Roby just will stay with whatever he does have. He does have soul steel. Uh, does have Void Rift, does have Domination, uh, there's nothing wrong with that, and he has Solace, uh, that's a pretty solid overall pack, I don't see any any reason why we couldn't win the final mission with him, and Renwin, Renwin will continue the training, like I said, it's unfortunate that Roby can not be reassigned to the training, or that anyone else can be reassigned to the training, really. Yeah, we can't... Can't get rid of that, can't re-upgrade it to another time. Yep. And in terms of next steps, guys, we are going to go for... The Shadow Chamber research, we're now having another gold pass mission which i think is the next mission that we're going to do if i am not mistaken we we did not have a single soldier that was really out no we could use storm as a templar so that's totally fine i uh, got psi operatives that's fine as well yeah and the sparks are usable anyway so Plenty of options there and that kind of brings us to the end of today's session. I appreciate as always uh, that you've um, uh, That you've stayed with me so long in the run We're on our uh, way to the last few missions and then we're hopefully going to win with a few robots and uh, Some psi operatives. Thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed what you've seen leave a thumbs up and a little comment down below and take care until the next time. Bye-bye.